Okay guys, how's it going? My name's Jet, and today we're going to be doing a little character customization. Specifically, Marisa Kedasame. Now in this game, you get... you We have three characters for the demo right now, and each one of the characters has four pre-done character customizations, but you can change them depending on your personal preferences, because some of your specials do have different... Uh, directions based on what direction they're already done, they're preset at. And in the corner you can see that triangle. That's Shinto, Buddhism, and Taoism. Each one of your moves has a plus or minus one, sometimes plus zero, depending on what you're talking about. But it adds into that graph and it basically it's basically what faith your build is primarily focused on. Alright. So, let's get started with some of the skills. This video is going to focus on Marisa. The first skill will be Witch Leyline. It costs 500 energy, and it is a charging attack. Obviously, the direction will change the amount of distance in, uh, of which you travel. Forward, obviously, being the most. Up and down does a uh, medium amount, whereas away from your opponent will do the least. Now, as you charge your abilities, once you get three, you'll do the full uh, distance, and it'll also do extra damage and have wall slam, as you saw right there. Now the direction you choose can change as depending on upon your situation, whether you want a short uh, dash or you want to charge all the way across the stage. Your furthest charge will actually almost go all the way across the stage, so it's very dangerous unless you're a complete screen away from your opponent. Whereas the shorter dashes will obviously leave you falling short and open to attack. But it depends on your playstyle with Marisa, whether you want to be a long distance fighter or a short distance fighter. It depends upon your situation, so use what you need uh, depending upon your situation and determine that practice to uh, get a feel for yourself. Okay, her second skill is going to be Rising Sweep. Fairly obvious about what the move is about. The direction don't matter too much. Um, the only real difference is the up and down directional buttons will have her uh, end up floating down higher, but it's very slight. And then upon her fourth uh, use of a skill where her stars are full, it'll do extra damage and the broom will have a wider effect. It'll be able to sweep up uh, enemies from a further distance and that was a very bad pun and I'm sorry. Here we have our third move, Strato Fraction. Marisa shoots energy up into the air, and it falls back down in the form of Stardent Maku. Now, the direction, I have it set to every direction here, and um, I really don't notice any much of a difference. It's completely random to me, and um, the only real difference uh, is when you have all four, you get more stars in a wider range and of course more power. So the direction, I'd like to say that forward or up does something where it focuses more on the front area or down and back focus on, focuses on the back, but it's too inconsistent, unfortunately. Okay, here's our next skill, Powerful Drug. Now this one's direction is always different. There was forward, here's our upwards, down goes nice and low, and our back goes a short distance. Now when you have your full bonus damage, it'll have that outer ring of stars, and here you can see it also has wall bound. See, now those extra stars, if you do it right and have it positioned close enough, it will um, do two hits. And this move explodes on impact. Okay, here's the fun part, the special move. Here is her infamous love sign Master Spark, it is plus one to Taoism, it takes some time to charge up, but as you can see, it can go the whole screen length and it's very powerful. Total 30 hits, it can do up to half your opponent's bar in damage. Now a second move here is going to be Comet Blazing Star. Uh, again, plus one to Taoism, she leaves the screen only to flash right in and charge at your opponent. And here's Marisa's last word, Sun Grazer. You need a 100% approval rating to do this, and it starts out with a vulnerability frame, so it is dangerous uh, to your opponent if they try to attack you. 
this is going to be your counterattack. It is utterly humiliating and devastating to your opponent. Perfect way to finish a match. And on that fellish note, I would like to thank you for watching it. I really appreciate it. And um, if you could like, favorite, or even subscribe, I would be much appreciated. And until next time, that is game, set, and match.